do anything like try to always make your random corners the same size or something like that, or do you just like eyeball it? Uh, no, sometimes sometime I want some to be the same size, like this guy here, I want like each corner to be the same roundness, but like for <laughs> this one it's like more sort of organic and less like straight, so I just like do whatever, and sometimes it, when you have a round corner square into another round, round corner square, it does like a weird... I'm going to show you an example, but um, if I do this and like, so you can see that like the corners are a bit weird inside, they're not following. Like if you wanted to do the same thickness? Yeah, so you can do this, things like that, where this feels more right here than here. Or like for doing that kind of thing, you can just like put a stroke. Um, well, so like the curve scales with the size of the square. Yeah, but if I do this, I don't have like the roundness of mm -hmm. this thing, so. So you might want to do that thing where you like take all those corners and but it's it's still like very uh end made like you don't really know if it's the right curve or not um so it's pretty much always that kind of thing like you can see here, like for those faces, it's basic shapes. Um, um, I also make patterns a lot, so I can show you how I make those. So basically, I start with a square and like I put an object in it. And to make a pattern, you can select the um, swatches and you just drag your pattern in the swatches and you draw a shape and you fill it with the thing you just did. So, you still edit the pattern? What? Can you still edit the pattern? Um, so if you change the small one, will it change the, the big thing then? Yeah, I think you can. Maybe that's new though. So you can change the width, the height. Uh, I haven't played that much on those things, so good questions. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's cool. Brick. Like that. Well, that's weird. And you can also like expand it if you want. So everything like everything that has a stroke or effects on it, you can expand it by doing object expand. So I'm gonna be able to like have the circles that are inside, I think. Yeah. So now that it's expanded, I can play with the different shapes. Yeah. Cool. You can also do this with like stroke things. Like, oh. expand, and now you have your stroke as a shape. So, um, yeah, for what I do in life with this, it's pretty much like really simple tools. I use the rotation tool a lot, the reflect tool a lot. Um, that's basically this. 
I use um, the effect uh, menu too. Um, there's like you have to try a bunch of them because there's a lot, but um, there are effects that are pixels. Like if you want to glow or like a blur on something, you can do it in Illustrator, but it's gonna like I don't know if there's vector. So you have like an Illustrator effect panel and a Photoshop one. So the Photoshop one pixelates your artwork. So you have to be careful on which you use. Um, but I use like a lot of the zigzag one. Uh, put the size, a smooth one. And um, where is appearance? In the appearance menu, you can edit your effect. So if there's there would be a bunch of effects there, so you can always edit it. So I don't use a lot of uh, effects there, but um, there's some cool ones. If you want to explore. I think that's pretty much it as a basis like you can explore after like I always learn new things in Illustrator um, each day so it's pretty huge. Sometimes you'll want like a particular thing to have and you're gonna Google it and you're gonna like, oh, I never used that tool, but it's there and it's doing something cool. Mm -hmm. So. Are you making cool artworks right now? Ben is making cool like that. Yeah, like, I that's bet. Not true. That's not true. That, no, that's so cool. I'm totally moving here. Oh, someone has a sandbag of ice. So, uh, oh, that's so cute. I like this little like, graduation thingy. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, a pencil on it. Yeah, you can drag it with a uh, black arrow. Or, I don't know if the white works. I've been but reading. You can drag it. It's already there. Yeah, it's there. So you just take that thing and you click this one. So now it's filling in like your pattern is exactly the size of this. So it's repeating a purple, blue, four square. So that's why you don't see like the pattern. But if you want to put a white space yeah. around it, you can oh just like God. draw a square without any fill or uh, borders. Oh, okay. um, um, so, yeah, you just like copy paste. You can uh, like control C, control F to paste in front. And you can, oh, you can just like expand it on top. Everyone can take a sticker from Hungary. Oh, yeah. Oh. Like and put it without fill. Yeah. So this is going to be your frame containing your the shape you want to repeat. So if you remove it's like fill, a deer. it's a goat. Like this, That's even and you better. select everything. <laughs> Love goats. Oh, so, so it's like goat. yeah, it's going to be a blank space between. Uh, they are prepared by down by an illustrator in Hungary. I can look her name up if you want to know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, nice. They're kind of waiting for help. I have a few black toasty fingers. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. I don't even have enough stuff. Because I always need to grab one. I know. That didn't update it. This is actually uh, the tag's laptop, and I really shouldn't put stickers on it, but I can't resist. I don't think anybody's going to complain. I'm the only one who uses it. I think mine's. I've had it's adorable. beautiful. Okay. That's beautiful. Well, well, well. Is it's like goodness. a little woodland forest on the back of my iPad. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Maybe it has a pattern on it. Like your. Click on that shape. Mm, 69. Click outside the fork. Can you please see it? Okay, and select like a random color. And then take your, yeah. Also, very congratulations. Okay, yeah, I think there was a Mary pattern. congratulations. Like Much your purple pattern was on, for on it. So oh, thanks. You can in the festival. Put the pattern. Yeah, it's nice. working now. Who needs to have a bend of that blend? Yeah, so you can like customize your. That's very cool. It's like a flag. Oh my god. How, how can it stay? Do it say I like it? Uh, I think it's in the options of the pattern. If you double click on your pattern. <coughs> um, size down to five? Maybe? I don't remember what's there. Or maybe it's in the, um, the scale to um, just beside the rotate tool. If you double click it. Do you want to close that? Just cancel that? Uh, yeah, cancel it. If you double click it. I think there's an option for that. Oh, uh, yeah, transform patterns. So if you click OK, and then you move it. That's really cool. So nice. Nice. Do you have any uninstalled? I, I need to uninstall it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your yeah, uninstalled and I was sad. Yeah, that was... Fuck that somewhere. <laughs> I don't want it. it. I never got it to run. It was like, I eventually got to the like, Adobe Updater thing installed and then it was like not <laughs> letting me log in anymore. So. Okay. Oh, oh. Shit. Anyway, it's fine. Yeah, it's in the Adobe world, so it's like, if you don't pay, you'll have a hard life. <laughs> <laughs> But it's a really, like, I've been using that tool for like 10 years now, so I'm kind of really dependent on it. And that's pretty cool. So if you have yeah. been paying for a month, you have a subscription? Yeah, I had to. Yeah, yeah I'm probably going to have to soon. I'm just paying for it straight or though, so I'm not like adding the full package. Uh, I use so many software that I have to. Pay for it for a month. Yeah. Might as well get a mortgage. And I'm starting making like uh, commercial stuff, so I can't really use cracked versions. Yeah. Uh, I, I can, but <laughs> who's gonna check? The Adobe police. Adobe's gonna get on that. That's a cool purple brush. <laughs> This is all I, I did. I just ended up drawing. <laughs> That's cool. So it's really Illustrator is also really useful if you want to make like custom type, like really beautiful swirly type, mm -hmm. or because it's you can make like really sharp stuff with it. So you use guides much. Or do you just use the, like, uh, screen? sometimes I use them, yeah. Oh. So stuff like, if I go here and, like, oh, do I have internet? Oh, yeah. So all that stuff, like, uh, you better have internet because you've been twitching yeah. for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> They're all just going nowhere. Well, I've been watching it, so oh. I've been watching for the. Like, those kinds yeah. of things are all made in Illustrator. Like, may, sometimes it's like a type that is remixed. And, like. So. It's really good for that, for that kind of work. Stickers, 
Yes, a quick one. They're from Hungary. We'll do a second time one. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then we'll 